Now, after a friend invited him to Jersey, acclaimed London artist Adrian Hemming decided that the island's north coast would be the perfect subject for his next exhibition. Entitled La Maison de Chant, the culmination of a year's work depicts familiar landscapes in a new and enthralling way. Anna Louise Godel went along to meet him. Adrian travels the world in search of inspirational landscapes and what better place to use as your subject than Jersey's rugged north coast. I was invited over to stay with uh, Stephanie Burney and her house is called uh, La Maison de Champ and I've been using that as a base for exploring the island. His subjects don't necessarily need to be pleasing and he is not always searching for breathtaking views and stunning scenery. He has the knack of turning the ordinary into something quite atmospheric. One of his favourite pieces is simply entitled The Pond at Roselle. It is a favourite of mine and I think also one of the most difficult pieces is the one you can see in front of you, which is The Pond near Roselle. It's a very intense piece, uh, the colours in it and the, the feeling of, 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 of going into infinity. Over the past year, he has created a substantial number of watercolours which have helped him capture the essence of the landscape. The way that I work is, is I, I, I go into the landscape and, and become acquainted with it, sit in it, walk in it. I make lots of drawings in the landscape, photographs, particularly watercolours. All of these things get taken back to the studio. I have a big studio in London and then the oil paintings are made in the studio. So it's a combination of, of memory and then of using the watercolours and the drawings as mnemonics to, to build up the oil paintings. All of the paintings are colourful, bright pinks, yellows and reds, colours you wouldn't normally associate with the North Coast. There's colour everywhere from the tiniest little flower hidden in the grass to a shaft of light lighting up the heather on the headland. So th there's colours everywhere. And, and also colour for me equals intensity. And you'll notice the energy levels within the paintings are very, very high. And so the, the colour and the energy and, and the way of Fusing those two elements together within the paintings, within the landscape I'm looking at, gives the painting it, it, its uh, rationale, if you like. No matter how abstract, if you like, some of the work looks, it's still recognisable as landscape. And, and that's what I want people to feel, you know, that they stand in front of the painting and that they feel that, oh, there's a landscape I know, mm. even though they might not be direct representations of a particular landscape. 